we of course being the hundreds of people in the San Michel district, and our fathers being beca- being um, the father of the protagonist. Yet my life story is really the, the quote voice. really doesn't seem that accurate for this. No, it doesn't. I, it, it's just, I was like, that's kind of a stretch. Yeah, it's I'm really so not that accurate for this chapter. And hate it. Capable of but memory to we my get will. answers? We Sort of. Oh. We're, we're, we're going to get... um. We never actually directly find out why she became an errorist or anything like that. Um, it's sort of suggested. I'll kind of go over that when the time comes. And look at this giant important memory. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's just supposed to be the Conception Cube. Conception Cube. That's the name of the thing. Seriously? In the center of Monop- n- 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 I, I said I would never mess it up. Nemopolis. Nemopolis. Uh... By the way, there does appear to be a ledge in there, uh, inside the cube that she's jumping to. Oh. Uh, within the cutscene itself. Anyway, so this is the conception cube. The moment I got here, I was convinced I would be fighting those. Yeah. God. Like, dead convinced. So it never happens. Cube. This place the heart is this awesome. This place is balling. This time we yeah. By the way, you see that down there? Tell me about my father. The door. Charles Cartier no, Wells no, no, not that. Years. Oh, there's gotta be a Scaramac. There is. Do you see it yet? Yeah. There he is, yep. H3O, Memrise Central Server, the place where all memories are stored, it was conceived here. The super version. He actually used the old H3O that he built a while ago to build the new H3O, if that makes sense. Like, he used the old server and then just stuck more onto it. Like, gave it additional RAM and processing power. Okay. Up and give it some severe upgrades, but uh, yeah. So this place is really, really stylish. Mm-hmm. Got the whole marble aesthetic going, but this is the creepiest room in the game. Simply because he is um. Well, I'll. That, I'm not. You can see. I'll just. I'll you're see. gonna. You're gonna see. He being her dad. The father. Yep. Yeah. Oh, also, this is the last technically platforming segment, but. The other one was like the last puzzle. Mm-hmm. Are these memories playing in the background? The, that's him talking. Oh God! What what Those voices. Your father. He is saying he the memories out loud. Your childhood memories for himself. It's disgusting. Genius and despair are a dangerous mix. Huh. So yeah. He can't um, leave the past behind. He, pretty much, yeah, that's exactly what it is. And then he's talking about how Scylla wouldn't erase the memory of that day. And he's still just convinced that this is the best idea ever. <laughs> I mean, so far. And he's seen the fact it. that he's saying Nilin's lines is what's really weird. Oh, did I see a Scaramac? Nope. Oh. You didn't. The next Scaramac is not until, like, nearly the very last thing you can actively do exploring in the game. Oh. I thought I was on top of it. There are actually two final bosses in this game. Okay. One of them is cerebral in nature. The other one is fighting. One final boss is yourself? No. Oh. (laughs) Actually, that's sort of accurate. You're about to see. Okay. Well, I see, uh, pale fragments of my life. Oh yeah, uh, Waxing Poetic does not stop, Same even for final episodes. <laughs> of course not. He also doesn't notice that she's talking later. behind him. Charles is He's close. in the chair in the center there. there. Is he really? He is. The nightmare is nearly over. Edge is getting pretty, uh, pretty antsy. Yeah. Over all this, because you're really close. There has to be an error here. An error mistake. Is. No, he's trying to understand where he went wrong. I understand. In the sense of technology? Or? Well, that caused Nilin to he's run away. His life. What caused his... And I'm gonna convince what him caused to the family it. to have issues. He just can't accept the fact the life that so life is gonna have issues. What do you mean? Look around you. Yeah. The power to remove so he's... From memories. He, he... They explain it right now. He literally created the advent of the digital memory memory revolution so he could erase her memory of the car crash. And you are the only person oh. and it, who can convince And then the technology just an evolved end. from there. The car crash that she caused. 
that I she is what? not the responsible sore, for. Soul... No, she turned around in the <laughs> car voluntarily, dang it. Okay. But yeah, he's become now, obsessed with, like, fixing medicine. everyone. Yeah. Causing everybody to be happy. He he just wants world peace. He's just, you know, going about it the wrong way. Because there was a really cool quote, by the way. Here we go. Final boss fight number one. Ooh. I was hoping there would be one more. One, one more remix. remix. Actually, two more remixes. Nice. Alright, so... Yeah, so right after the car crash. Memory of the Dead, you can actually see the car in the background there. Which is pretty cool. You can also see the Memorize logo as well. And so, the H3O server. Got the it. first remix is the name of the memory. Nice. It's pretty cool. Like, you're going all the way back. Papa, is mommy coming home soon? And he has the glove. So he developed the first glove specifically oh, for this purpose. Since when he was bad. Yeah, this is kind of twisted. Yeah, but also it, right in his own mind. Well, he really thinks like, let's see here. I'm a genius with the ability to manipulate memories. I'll find a way to fix that as well. He's got a serious god he complex does. thing going. I'm going to hurt my little girl. But he, it's all for what he thinks is for the best? So his is a bit crude, obviously. Deeper. Yeah, his, his is a bit crude, obviously. You can sort of see, like, little graphical glitches mm. around it. It's not quite as streamlined as the one we're doing. <laughs> well, how do you feel? Do you think Mummy hates Jack? No. Why? Did he do something bad? This is... Okay, okay no. like, entire, like, implications of how he's treating this aside, this is really creepy. Mm -hmm. okay. Like, the entire concept has been really creepy for a while now, but, uh... This is, this is pretty out there. So, yeah, he created the first hat glove. And becomes obsessed with changing memories to prevent people from being unhappy ever. So, sensins have already, already been implemented. Sensins have been implemented, but only as, like, um, n neural interfaces? Not actual, like, memory digitization and management. Okay. And That's the start of darkness there. I'll free the whole world from pain. Objective update. Oh, right, <laughs> right. Most of these involve, uh, as in the very first update, most of these involve making one thing happen. Did you see the glitch? Hey, it's too late. No. Hold on. It was right there. There is only one glitch to manipulate in this remix. Oh, you do have to go deeper. You do have to go deeper, yep. Welcome to the second and final remix of the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. uh, yeah, exactly. So you have to manipulate, and this has one of the coolest visual designs I've seen. It's the exact same memory, save for one massive difference. By the way, I should mention, in the original memory, it was possible to manipulate it in such a fashion that you averted the car crash. Really? Yes. But that, that was that wrong. That wasn't the goal. But that okay. was wrong. That was not the goal. You had to make a responsible. So, remember, this is the exact same memory. Okay. Complete with terrible... And that's the big change to the memory. He's standing there with the glove the whole time. And he successfully manipulates the memory as we would to avert the crash. Using the same glitches we would have had at the time. Whoa. Exactly. So basically, he's doing exactly what we could have done if this had been our goal. So then how do you prevent it? Well, you're going to be getting different glitches this time around that are unlocked by him messing with it the first time. Because he remembers that this is how the memory was changed. 
but you can change his memory of how the memory was changed. <laughs> right, we're going deeper here. Okay, we're, yeah, this is deep. We're memory within a memory right now, so he's remembering that she remembers different things. And remember, there's been a bad result for every single thing we've been able to do. With pretty much every remix we've done thus far, there has been a way to do one thing, which is very bad. And that is kill the memory holder. Yep. And this is the successful way to stop it. Objective update. We want to successfully trigger a memory bug. Okay. That's the goal now. Yeah, the, is... the, the fail condition is now the win condition. So, okay. we can withdraw the cup holder. Okay. As yep. before. Let's get rid of that. Yep, exactly. Not needed. Not, not yet. Oh, 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 that's probably a good idea. Safety belt, take it off. Goodbye seatbelt, yep, yep, pretty much. And then uh, phone call, and what's this? No cup holder? Ah, who needs one? Exactly. I'll just put it down here. Exactly. It's fine. Hello, it's fine. Darling, is everything all right? You should have been home hours ago. They started work on the Mary Ferrick. The I giant 50, 50 meter tall seawall. Okay. Uh, so then you see his error right there. You can turn on the LCD screen. I don't think it does anything. I think I just do it because I wasn't sure of that. Mm -hmm. it, sh it was a Jax ad. Jax's life. Jax's life. <laughs> You and are then, the best. You're the best. Jack. And then it sits up in its seat. Jack. I have heard your commands. <laughs> I will go, for I am the best. Please spelled with Z's. Very important there. This is so cool looking, though. Him just standing as the godlike figure. Because yeah. this is what he's doing with the memory remixes. And what we have been doing. Like, one of the very first things was just, like... Uh, Nilan doesn't like the power to play God with people's memories, and that's exactly what he's planning to do, but he does it for their good? Right. And there was a quote that for I... For his opinion of what Yeah, exactly. Good is. And then you can also, you can... You can short-circuit the electrical socket? Huh. Which, uh, doesn't do anything right now. So... Let, let's see here. So are we going to try to do it where she turns around again? We want to, yeah, we want to make it so they crash again. And that's it. it they've successfully stopped again. We failed. And he's happy. So naturally, there's something, something's wrong. We didn't get something right. Well, Nilin is not the only one that's going to have to die for this to work right. Understandable. It's, it's actually really bad. Um... So yeah, re rewinding, rewinding. I thought there was maybe a bug that I didn't see. Something. Oh, there it was. There it was. I spotted it. As before, the windshield is a bug. And now we must do the unthinkable. We've got to kill Jax. Oh my god. No. No. We killed Jax. He's not moving. And look, he, like Charles is in the background like, oh no. Oh no! Oh no wait, but we can- And he shall rise again! So we break him briefly. No. I cannot be killed. I am technically a T-1000. <laughs> Soon, humans, my kind will wipe you out. <laughs> but Jax just decides to play with the electrical circuit. What would happen if that were to short circuit? Let's kill him again! He flies backwards. Oh no, Jax. Turned around, car hits. Nilin flies forward and without her seatbelt... Ceases to be alive. Yes. For the memory, at the very least. Mm -hmm. Or for the memory's memory. This is all starting to get a bit metaphysical. Yeah. So yeah, car seat is ominously empty. Windshield is ominously broken. And I think we just cut to Jax, and like a, a foot or a hand, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, and our tire is just wrecked beyond reason. Yep, Jax on the ground, and a and hand. hand. Oh, and you actually see a little bit of her face as well. But yeah, so that happens, and if we were to ever let one of those go through, 
we're about to see what would happen then. Because technically, we're merely altering his memory by making him think he committed a memory bug on the very first remix he ever attempted. So, with this as the final result, he looks devastated in the dream world, yeah. by the way. Uh, we zoom out to see... Does, does she die in real life in the memory? In real life in the memory, yes. Because your brain can't really handle thinking it's dead. And of course, Charles is just like, oh, I done goofed. Whoa. Major memorial error. Yeah. So yeah, this is actually, like, this is an adult fear right here. Yeah. What a twisted way to... Yeah, that's really messed up. However, man. I really like Charles Cartier-Wells for one reason, which we're about to see in a moment here. Oh, and you can also see, like, other remixes in the background. Like, you could actually see the car from here. And you could see here from the car, because they're technically an intertwined memory. Very strange. For him. Yeah, because he remembers them simultaneously, because mm -hmm. they did happen pretty much simultaneously. So you zoom out... And instead of just um, trying to wonder why things went wrong and you left, he's just, you know, mourning your passing. And he thinks he has been for literally years. <laughs> he still has the Jax toy, though. Oof. Even now, he still has Jax. My child. This is like a broken man, though. Yeah. Seriously. I wasn't naturally gifted, I was just a good student. So that's you why she's so good with the hat glove. Break him. Do it. Jesus. Oh, Edge. Are you okay, Edge? What a tragic waste. Edge? Well, Edge is really close to his final goal here. Which is to disassemble Memorize. Pretty much, and to stop the Sensen network. So, it's understandable that he'd be really, really anxious. So she steps in. Jack still recognizes her after 20 years. And check this out, he gets two words at Nillen. How? Five seconds or so. This is gonna be good. And he figures it out! He's not an idiot! He's actually a genius that can figure things out. He figures out that he's, his memories are not actually real, she just remixed him for whatever reason. Whoa. Exactly. <laughs> he gets it. A typical character. Also, Scylla, all, it's not outright stated, but it's highly suggested that Scylla figures it out as well. Cause, but she's okay with it? Because she realizes that she was a terrible person beforehand? Yeah. It's true. So yeah, she's trying to convince her dad that he has to take down the network. And it always does. That's kind of an issue. Mm-hmm. Idea. Jax, no. Stand up, buddy. No, Charles. There you go. No one wishes my command. <laughs> I will return to my owner. Oh, and she's here. Greetings. Is that a robotic? That is a robotic leg. Yeah, that was there before, too. Because of the car crash. Yep. Because I loved you. And because you're still a genius. So, they're kind of estranged, there, yeah. after all these years, but Hate. they're still president of Memorize and inventor Riots. of the Sensen. Pain. So... Pain. 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 It's our fault, Charles, and it has to stop. We're nearly there. I just pretty excited. <laughs> oh, come on, it's gonna disconnect it, Yeah, he's like, he's got to disconnect H3O, which means we've got to breach unless... Edge is really excited! It's like Christmas! Let's <laughs> both you and I authorize access. Yeah. Voila. <laughs> they have to unlock it themselves. Okay. Only they could authorize access to the central server. Now it's your turn, sis, to finish the job. So Edge really is very excited about all of this. Yeah. Considering it's been literally one day since he busted us out. Yeah. <laughs> and they've been, they've been trying this for years. Ominous evolution. 
Oh yeah, memorizes the future of humanity is also the password for them. Uh, but they also have to make holograms for it to work. Uh, with, I mean, just bare hands. Yeah, no. Sensen is also magic. Oh, right. We, we discovered it. So yeah, it flips open and the giant conspicuous wall, it turns out, is actually a giant conspicuous wall. Also, I like the design of this room. All the mm -hmm. white, orange, and black. It's got the same thing as the actual memories you're themselves. You're a right. stronger Cartier Wells than either me or your father. I'm proud of you, my daughter. Here. So yeah, it's... Oh yeah, he gives her back her childhood memories, which... She said that there were holes in her memories, and this is suggested to be what they were. When but... Were you often came down here to visit me. Where are the memories in between, like, car crash... And when right. she left her parents. I mean, maybe he tried to remix her when she left and make her forget well, about all of that? My little smarty. But, or maybe she just lost it when she went to But La Bastille. Bastille. It's possible, yeah. And it's highly suggested that the reason she became an heiress is because she realized her father had... Or that things were going wrong with this. Mm -hmm. And or because she felt a sort of indignation be at being manipulated like that. You did it, yeah. sister. So, Edge is very happy. To in over a yeah. But we're still hey. outlaws. With your connections, yeah, so I wouldn't worry too Do you still much. like I'm Edge at the end of this game? Yes. Because right now I'm kind of... Edge, well, I mean, we're all working, working together with Edge at this point. Just like any other machine. Seems like the perfect Edge. opportunity for a final twist. Edge. Oh, we oh. lost connection. Edge. Or the boss. Well, I mean, it is a very big server. Also, check out the memory glitches. Also, Jax is part of your memory. Hurry up, Jax. So are those like wires, then? Like, just well, there are all sorts of wires. There are also, like, actual sense and memory bugs just hanging around all okay. the time. Because there are so many memories that they're, like, leaking from the machines. It, and it looks cool, I yeah. guess, is the reason. Yeah, that looks amazing. It really Especially does. Especially considering its function. Exactly. By the way, we're still missing a Scaramech. Are you serious? <laughs> See, we're in a dramatic part of the game, but... What if we stuck a room out? No, not Jax, only, like... So yeah, you and your little friend Jax always came down here to play in the memorized central servers in a constantly shifting maze. Okay, honey, don't get squished. Don't no, they didn't anything. they didn't even know that we were down here. Oh. We just kind of broke in, apparently just running past the super advanced security. Maybe it wasn't so advanced back then. Anyway, so you reach a dead end, but then you turn around and it's not a dead end anymore because <sighs> it's rearranging around you. By the way, if I'm looking up often, it's because I'm looking for that last Scaramech. I know it's around here somewhere, but I don't know where. I wasn't a very happy little girl. Jax was truly your only friend. Very oh, good, you're back. You weren't answering me. <laughs> I oh, we can't follow her. Memories for a long time. Yep. I almost forgot how much they hurt. How's that? Yep. We lived so much pain, sister, and for such a long time, so empty, so true. Edge, uh, something's up. You're starting to mm -hmm. scare me. Keep going, little sister. H three O must disappear. Hmm. Okay, not to brag, I actually figured this out before I got here. Figure what out? Figured out the twist that we're about to see in a minute here. Like, there is one final remaining twist. You got that right. Okay. And you said a while ago... Why, by the way, do you hear it? That son of a bitch. Well, no, you can't even access it yet. You have oh. to wait for the walls to close behind you. Wow. And then you have to go backwards and turn the corner, and then you'll be able to see it. Because I'm like, is it up there? No, maybe it's around the next car. No, that's the final boss. Okay, we're not going to go that way. But yeah, no, you said in, I think, the first or second episode, are we ever going to find out more about Edge's backstory? We gotta. The answer is yes, we are. We are going to find out about Edge in the very last episode. Also, that's the very first time I got all the Scaramex. Pest control. Yep, I did not practice this final boss. Oh. I remembered it. Fitting, given the game. Yeah. 
But yeah, the final boss was pretty memorable. I just forgot how bad the second stage was. Which is why we're going to see a cut right about then. Okay. Uh, or I vaguely forgot. But yeah. So this is the same room where we were originally yes. remixed the first time. It's here that you gave birth to me. Ew. Don't you find the expression a little abusive, brother? <laughs> it's just a question of perspective. When did you figure it out? Just now. Edge is H3O. Yep. Really? Me. Yep. It's obvious. Why does he want I you really to want to die? I didn't lie to you. Who are you? Really? I am Edge. I am a spontaneous entity born from the putrid pits where everyone flushed their most Whoa. horrible and painful memories. I am H3O. My first memories are the tears of a girl. I am the child of Memorize and its worst enemy. I am the father of the Leapers and their grim Reaper. I am your friend. You must kill me. So Edge doesn't really like and himself much. Yeah. There is no choice, sister. I know you said I will that there would be an alternate episode where we didn't talk me. during the cutscenes, but... Um, yeah, those are going to be uploaded after the main thing, um... But during this one, I don't know, I'm kinda taken aback. That was a pretty good twist. That is a good twist, yeah, no, definitely. No, and when I say there's an alternate take where we don't talk during cutscenes, I'm just gonna cut it out of that one. Right. Yeah, but in any case... Um, so Edge is a an AI that was created when H3O was first hooked up from the memories of everybody that hooked in there and kind of grew in self-awareness over time. Hmm. Um, he kind of hates what he's become. And when I told you that there was a reason that Edge hated people discarding their painful memories, it's because this yeah. is it. It's because he is those painful he memories. Had to absorb all of them. Yeah, he remembers and is every single one of those painful memories conglomerated into one. So he is a lot of white blocks, and I mean a lot of white blocks. But that also means that he didn't have any sort of sympathy towards. And not human life. not a one. That's why he was such like a uh, sociopath yeah. when we flooded the San Michel district. He genuinely hated them. Oh, and this isn't Edge anymore. This is H three O. Edge was just a part of me, an agent created, partitioned, and sent on its way to find you and bring you here. But you, you are an heiress. To bring so he's to the multiple personality of type of thing going well, on. Well, no, Edge was actually like a miniature version of H3O that he actually created. That was like a more human version of himself. And he regretted it. And No, he doesn't regret that. He just had to create Edge to be a human portion. Um, this is also the explanation as for why Edge could not just get all of the stuff you needed. He was partitioned off from most of the memory servers. So you can't attack this cube. It is one of the more painful memories he had to remember. That's funny. They place a cube in the middle and they're like, okay, you can't attack this. You can, you just have to use sense and fury. Got it. So these memories the are going to be taking place some of the darkest memories he had to bear. In other words, all of the remixes we've done so far. If you look around, you'll notice this is Olga Sadova's memory. Yes, it is. I noticed that it had that feel at first, but I didn't realize that it was... Yeah, complete with the injection gun, ghosts of them off to the right-hand side there. So, I'm actually stocking up on focus. We're gonna hear him asking me to uh, break that cube quite a bit here. Because I didn't remember much about the second portion, but I remembered it was terrible. Okay. Um, I just, you know, I could not remember why for the life of me. So, uh, I knew I'd have to fill up on some focus, so I think I get two or three bars and then I just, uh, sense and fury and destroy this cube. Because each segment of this boss fight is going to be you destroying these black memory cubes. If you don't do it long enough, it eventually gives you a helpful tip, and I'm just like, yes, I know the helpful tip, but the next part of the fight is terrible, and the third part isn't even as bad as it, so... Yes, this is the fighting final boss, and power pressings are now officially worthless. This cube, some of the power pressings? Power pressings are. You cannot, you do not have any situation where you are forced to actually deal damage to things based on your physical attacking. And I wanted to attack that thing in the background, but um, 
the Leaper decided to take my attack for me, so that was that was just wonderful. It's okay, you're building up uh, focus. That's yeah, the goal. you're building you're building up focus. It's all good. But yeah, Edge also brings up um, a lot of like backstory sort of stuff during his fight. I didn't notice the second cube until right about now, and then I'm like, oh right, I've got to. All right, cooldown presence. Uh, or I could just logic bomb near it naturally. It said I could do that. Let's mm. give it a shot. It doesn't break it immediately. It takes more than one logic bomb, so that's a terrible idea, and you shouldn't do it. I just decided to humor the game for once. And I paid for it. But yeah, Power Presence only break these things faster, which means you'll get less hits off. Combo and Regen Presence are the secret to this boss fight. And by the end of it, I will have a full combo and a full Regen Press-In combo. Um, or a full cooldown combo and a full Regen Press-In combo, and that is it. That is all I will have by the end of this fight. Um... Though I don't know if I do that until I sort of realize what I have to do in stage 2. So, finally, we break the second cube, it goes in there, and then you have to spam his weak point. Thank god Kid Christmas invented this thing. By the way, memory meteors from Madame's memory. They're back. Only now they're just a regular attack that H302 chooses to use. Um, I experimented a bit with just spamming it over and over. It feels more effective to just junk bolt it. Okay. Like, I don't know if that's actually the case, it just feels that way. And now we get a cinematic action in which we jump between lots of cubes, auto turn on sense and fury, and then beat the shit out of his chest. What a weird way to destroy a machine. Yep. But then again, he is an electronic machine and he's fighting us within the context of the sense in. Mm -hmm. We just need to break H3O. By the way, welcome to the second memory. The argument and welcome back to when i remade the second memory so now my five hit combo is full uh cooldown presence with two or three chain presence in it and Dear god my five hit combo oh yeah he also gets an attack where he gets to roar at you because here's the thing this entire sequence is you see that machine in the back there you see how there's a cube just out of reach mm -hmm. and you see how it's a seraphim you have to use... Rust in pieces. So yeah, those things deal a lot of damage. Like, I have full... Pretty much everything, and I'm really not doing too well. So I wanted to heal up a little bit before I activated my Rust in pieces. Also, I wanted to see if I could get a little bit of focus. You're kidding. He didn't design it to become a giant self-aware monstrosity that wants to die. Also, you can use the invincibility frames from casting your ability to actually dodge his attack. And seeing how difficult it is to actually dodge that little, like, roar attack normally, that's really helpful. Um, yes, yes, yes. All these lines are just so tiring after so many times trying this section of the fight. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So, eventually... I just dosed it because I couldn't deal with all these guys, waited for a new dude to spawn, and then rusted in pieces. Or at least I would have said that if I was trying to lie to you. The truth is I misselected it and wasted a bar of focus, because all it does is kill the robots as well. So now we have to spam the weak point again, and he just continues summoning more meteors. There's nothing really else to this section of the fight. He doesn't summon anything else for this part, you just have to dodge meteors and spam it until it falls down. Once you get enough junk bolts into it, it's going to fall apart and we're going to trigger the second cinematic action because, as you notice, his health doesn't go down at all until you use the cinematic actions. Also, his weak points take more and more hits the greater fa his phases go. So the first one Jesus. only took a couple of hits. Three junk bolts and counting? Three junk bolts and counting. I might have actually cut the first part of the fight, if I'm not mistaken. That would have been some pretty slick editing. I didn't even remember doing that. Um, but yeah, no, it does require quite a few hits on the hardest difficulty. But eventually, he looks very surprised. And the first one is going to take 10 hits of a combo to destroy. The second one is going to take 20 combo hits to destroy. The third one is going to take 30 combo hits to destroy. Wow. There's no way to knock you out of this. Once you're here, you don't deactivate Sense and Fury. Nothing else happens. You just beat the crap out of it until it falls apart. Like, once we hit 12 here, I think, it should fall apart. Double hit there. Yep. And we're knocked back into the crash. Nope. Complete with Mini Jax, Mini Nillin, Mini Scylla. All sitting on the edges there. 
And he looks kind of dark there. So the last enemy, they couldn't actually figure out anything better, so they just threw more leapers at us? Okay. I mean, that's better than freaking elite I'm, enforcers. Yeah, no, it, thank goodness. There are no ghost elite enforcers. That would be terrible, and how would you even show that sort of thing? But, yeah, this is pretty much it for the last section of the fight. I just wanted to heal up to near full, just so I'd be really safe. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I just start CD. combo pressing. My full combo pressing at this point is about 115 seconds. Or my full cooldown pressing combo is about 115 seconds, put it that way. So there are a lot of leapers in this area, so you need to know how to dodge. If you can't dodge, this is going to be the most difficult part of the fight. If you can... Oh, also, you have to sense in DOS to make it appear, and then sense in Fury to destroy it. As you always do with invisible things. Only now, these leapers still appear, even when you're attacking it. So they can knock you out of it? They can't knock you out of it. They could knock you down while you're using Sense and Fury, but mostly they're just going to continue attacking. Okay. This leads to actually one of the... I don't know. I want to say funniest sections in this boss fight, but it's not so much funny as it is just sort of like, I wish there were a cooler part. Did Look you at, see that cooler? Exactly. It vanished. But I need two bars of focus and Sense and Fury cool down, so there we go. Dodge out. Send some DOS. Edge, like, recoils in the... Sorry, H3O recoils in the <laughs> background. Um, so once you actually break this, it turns into a really weird game of Ring Around the Rosie. Because, um, you're going to be dodging these leapers which continue spawning, but because of the speed with which leapers attack, you're just going to, like, circle around. That took about 10 rotations of being followed by leapers and dodging meteors. Oh, so you were just doing us There is no way I was going to make you watch all of that. Just know it took forever. So yeah, uh, dramatic music, another cinematic action. And if you notice, it almost looks like a um, black version of the Sensen interface around that memory. Yeah. Which I thought was pretty cool. So anyway, yeah, once you do a lot of hits on this one... Oh, we got another bar of uh, focus back. Good. 30 hits. Things start... Like, you get cutscene power? I don't know. I don't really get what's going on here. It's I don't know like why magic. this is a thing. But you are in the memory realm, I guess? So... I I don't know. So we are about to do the biggest overload of all time. Do which it. is just manifested as us actually doing like a dive bomb into it. I thought it would have been really cool if we actually charged up an overload and they had the player press B... Like, the player does, uh, performs the final strike, like, at the end of uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, where you have to perform the final hit against the boss, regardless. Mm -hmm. By the way, that that is not... I know you've never played Metal Gear Solid, so the character is literally named The Boss. I'm not, <laughs> not spoiling anything there. But yeah, so the music gets kind of dramatic, and um, Edge himself, like, the Edge part of H3O actually takes a bit to talk to you again. He doesn't have much time. He doesn't have much time. Finish me. So yeah, Edge slash H3O slash the Sensen Network knows that it is just wrecking everything and it needs to die. And also, it oh, we got 3,000 PMP. I mean, in case you wanted it. Okay, and yeah, the so empty, so true line, I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. Okay, so yeah, here's the thing. All of the negative memories are going to be returned to everyone. The Sensen Network is falling apart, so everything is getting, everybody's getting all their memories back. Oh, that final cutscene. Could have dire repercussions. Yeah, not to mention anyone with remix memories, they're not getting them fixed. <laughs> they just don't dwell on the past. Exactly. Like, anyone who has gotten those memories remixed is not a going to get them said, fixed. The memory oh, yeah. of a single man is a fortress. More complex than the vastest of cities. Hmm. But we invented a key to the fortress. Got it, got it, yep. We there need to beat up no dudes to unlock it. No, wait, that's a different key. We My became friend's name was Edge. God. My friend's name was Edge. Okay, Edge never said that in game. He was the first to understand that we were all floating adrift. I. Edge oh, speaking of floating adrift. <laughs> Goodbye, Jax. The gun, like the car crash. It's just part of life. I have a problem with this, and I'm going to discuss it during the credits. Okay. <laughs> My name is Nilin Cartier Wells. 
I'm okay, Child Nolan looks really creepy. I don't know what it is. I, I think it's the eyes. She looks like Tiny Tina from Borderlands 2. I, can make you believe I think it's I just because children are creepy. No, she's got like a bug-eyed look on her. It's really my weird. My legacy. I'm friends with my younger self. For the first time <laughs> in my life, I remember exactly who I am. Uh, no, that's not Outside technically tr fortress. true. Um, I now have a family to go back to. Though, for the first time in your life that you remember, you remember exactly who you are. A world to heal. So yeah, they've got to fix up the world. This is what my friend taught me before yeah, no. he disappeared. And, <laughs> sorry, and by disappeared I mean before we punched him. him into bits. Oh, I mean, punched his memory of Component his... parts yeah. into bits. So yeah, that's it. Uh, also, I got an achievement for completing it on the hardest difficulty, because I'd never done that before. Nice. Made by so, Don't yeah. Nod. Made by Don't Nod, the French studio. Um, you're, so you're going to be seeing a lot of French names. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Yeah, that was Remember Me. It cuts off there. Uh, it doesn't really discuss any of the repercussions from the Sensen Network essentially being shut down and people not being able to deal with that anymore. It never deals with the fact that we essentially committed a serious terrorist action yeah. by flooding the... Uh, er errors. Errors. No, the... <laughs> No, like, we were an heiress performing a terrorist act. You're not supposed to make that jump. <laughs> <laughs> the jump to the letter T. Yes. <laughs> okay. We won't make that jump. Okay. Uh, we did a bad thing, and they're not going to punish us for it. Um, the guy who we committed, who we made commit suicide, unless his fiance is told, she's going to spend the rest of her life thinking that was her fault. Yeah. Um, or at least partially her fault i mean you technically shouldn't but there is a sense of like i could have prevented this sort of thing that goes with that sort of situation where and this is going to get a tiny bit serious like a lot of people think that like i could have done something here when in reality you did all that you could but that's again that's just kind of an issue of like we have to take the memories the good and the bad which i'm going to go over again in just a second here but olga sadova also may have blown up her husband which is never addressed again didn't she also potentially blow up thousands of other patients? Or hundreds. Hundreds, possibly many. thousands. Yeah, she blew up a hospital. So right. she's now an outlaw, fugitive. Um, we could try to use our connections to try to get that wiped away, but, you know, there, there were literally hundreds of thousands of people. No, hundreds and or thousands of people that died in this game. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's really terrible. But, you know, our familial issues are resolved. We get to go back to being the golden child of... The family with all the money in Neo Paris. Well, and the family that's gonna have all the stigma of the bad memories now. Exactly, but that that said, perhaps they're merely going to change the way that things are done. They're not going to be digitally storing memories, but they are still going to be using the Sensen as an advanced form of technology. Yeah, I mean, if as an interface, sense, like, it's like pretty the, cool. Yeah, the interface is great. It's just the Sensen network, which mm -hmm. was bad. Another thing is, all the people who died, or were lost, or were overloaded, and had bad memories, where do those go? Yeah, I was... Are they just put into the saying. ether? Do random people get them? Because that has happened before, that's not without precedent. One of the first recorded issues with the Sensen, as detailed by the, um, backstory, by the Nisus memories, is that a bunch of painful memories from a psychiatric hospital were released into was essentially a suburban neighborhood surrounding it. And people got pretty messed up by this. Uh, Memorize officially denies the involvement of it or anybody else in this circumstance, mm -hmm. and if such a thing were to happen, they uh, maintained that it was due to insufficient security procedures and mismanagement of what's going on. That said, it's still possible. And since it's still possible, it's possible that the memories that belong to other people... Well, what about the entire, like, uh city that you killed by flooding yeah. those people deliberately got rid of their bad memories presumably they were stored with edge. well they're going to get them back but they're dead well yeah those people are not going to get them back so they may go to other people yeah they're just for all we know like... or worst case scenario they're still stored in h3o and edge gets reborn yeah because i get as a lesser form of himself but one you didn't that actually still... destroy the machine you just kind of... no you just kind of broke it you, yeah, you took the Sensen network down. Put it that way. H3O was actually... The thing is, the processing power of H3O was necessary to maintain 
the control over the digital distribution of memories as it existed, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you broke that, the system is no longer able to handle the digital distribution of memories. It's still able to handle all of the sense in, and it needs to be that large to be able to do so. The connections, everything of that sort. It's just a giant central server. But now, without the H3O prototype interface running the memorial interface, you won't be able to store, retrieve, or digitize memories like this anymore. Hmm. Also, really quick note, um, on the glove, due to the fact that Nilin's dad was the one that made it, and the fact that Eris somehow got a hold of it, it is highly suggested but never stated that Edge, H3O Edge, mm -hmm. leaked it to leaked the designs that he had, because he was the central server, to the Eris in an effort to get them to kill him. And that is why he leaked them. Yeah. That is both the reason that he wanted to leak them and the reason he was able to gain access to it. If that's the case, then was it just coincidence that it landed in the hands of Millen? No, chances are not. Chances are she actually knew what was going on. She may have actually been in collusion with H3O Edge beforehand. That would be super weird. But I guess it's also possible that, uh, kind of as is suggested in the end, she was lonely. She befriended Edge at a young age. Yeah, or as well as Jax. Yeah, yes. like the yeah, of course, Jax. Jax is amazing. Um, I mean, the best friend anyone could ever have, obviously, <laughs> that robotic panda. And but Edge, he, perhaps Edge was actually, like, just manifested himself not as, like, high in the server that's there, but, like, I'm a computer program, let's, uh, da, 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 let's, uh, here, talk, talk to me, let's see what's going on. Let's make friends. Let's I make have friends. bad memories, what do you have? <laughs> I am made of bad, what's the best memory you have, Edge? You cried in a car crash. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> what other memories do you have? I have the memories of hundreds of thousands of suffering individuals. Oh, this one time I got a Jax toy. It was the best day ever. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Also, the big problem I have with this game, and the one that I want to kind of bring up, before we just go on to less serious things, mm -hmm. is that the entire message of this game is that we have to take memories, the good and the bad, and deal with them in our own way. We can't rely on technology, or we can't remember on just forgetting them. We have to deal with our issues and or move on. We can't just afford to ignore them. Yeah. That did but sound like a big message. But all of the problems in this game arise from the fact that the main family can't deal with their issues. Charles Cartier-Wells can't deal with the car accident, De decides to develop a system to avoid doing exactly what was advertised okay, to smart, get all that. Smart and or powerful people are not allowed to try to manage their own bad <laughs> memories. But everybody else, they just have everybody to Everybody else with. is fine. Um, but yeah, and Scylla. She became a better person for having forgotten or ignored those memories. Mm -hmm. Or having them manipulated. Because originally in those memories, she was a terrible person. Yep. But once we manipulated them, she became a much better person. Not unlike, I don't know, who knows, maybe someone messed with Scrooge's Sensen and that's really what happened in, uh, a, you know, a Christmas Carol. <laughs> Future Christmas Carol, Scrooge's Sensen is visited by three ghosts. What, what an eccentric reference. Oh, it would be good. No, like, <laughs> just the, the idea of a person coming out of an experience truly changed off of an ordeal that is unique to them. Mm -hmm. and no one else, and causes an extreme and noticeable change that nobody else is really going to be able to explain. If that makes sense. Maybe another message, though, is that people aren't perfect. I, I mean, I really think that is a message, but with that said, a lot of the issues in this game arose from the fact that they couldn't let go of painful memories. Mm -hmm. That they, like, that they didn't choose to try to forget. Or yeah. try to forgive. They just chose to try to manage it, and trying to manage it is exactly what we're told to do at the end, but that ended up turning the world into a giant leaper-infested shithole. On another note, the leapers still exist. Probably in greater numbers, because of... Possibly. However, there's also the possibility that the leaper collective consciousness was actually Edge. Like, they maintained a small shred of their own consciousness, but it was almost a hive mind through the memorized central servers. That actually would have been interesting. Which might have been the so empty, so true. Mm -hmm. Like, their mind is empty, they're connected to everybody else, their that's will the truth they're looking true. for. 
that well the truth they're looking for is just in the freedom to connect with everybody else in such a manner potentially yeah but yeah um so what happened to that when quaid started messing around with it no idea but i couldn't have imagined that edge was, i could i could imagine why edge was a bit more disgusted with him after that if that's truly what's going on mm -hmm. well i mean whether you're a computer ai or a person you're not gonna like quaid yeah quaid's quaid's pretty nasty He's regardless being a dick yeah pretty much so i mean that's that's pretty much it for like I, there are still tons of other like issues with the game and how things are handled and what's going on and the fact that they're like we have a world to heal that has been damaged by sense and i'm like no you have a world to heal that was damaged by global warming and constant typhoons outside the city of paris you still and have war. refugees outside well the war is pretty much over by now but it's been wrecked by war. it's been wrecked by war yeah Oh, um, you're saying ongoing issues? <laughs> ongoing have... issues, yeah. It's still being racked by constant hurricanes and uh, typhoons. Like, the, uh, what's it called? The wall for that. The giant wall. Yeah, the giant seawall is not only to keep the sea out, it's to help keep refugees out. Is its secondary mean. effect. And it's this like includes Lamar people who... Something. Um, the Mary Farik. Mary Farik. Or whatever it was. So, I don't know. The Mary Ferric is how she pronounced it in the memory, but... So yeah, that there's all that, and that's interesting. And then, of course, Bad Request just got screwed over. Poor guy. Whole game. Kid Christmas. He'll probably actually be fine. Yeah, he might be. Yeah, I mean, seriously, not much is going to change with Kid Christmas. Ooh. He won't be able to hunt memories anymore. He'll probably become a professional wrestler. You say that, but his reputation was damaged. His reputation was pretty damaged. But she also single-handedly broke the entire world in a day. So I think he can probably get a pass on that yeah. one. Um, then who else? Uh, Madame is obviously going to be incarcerated. Mm -hmm. In some way, shape, or form. Uh, hopefully also get counseling. By the way, <laughs> something that somebody pointed out that I really liked is that um, Madame forces other people... She owns a massive, or runs a massive facility where she has what are essentially knights. Like, guards that have, like, the face masks of knights and everything right. else, and the armor. And she has a bunch of people who she wishes to worship her as a goddess. It is, li Lava Steel is literally her inferiority complex. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I love the pun. Anyway, we're nearing the end of the credits here. And the credits themselves just bugged out for some reason. Go figure. Uh, but yeah, maybe so... Maybe that was intended. Maybe. <laughs> Are we really remembering these credits? Yep, I didn't. Yep. I, <laughs> yep. okay. I couldn't make up something like this. Oh, and to the playtesters. Yeah? All the playtesters. Um, so yeah, basically, I think that this was a really ambitious game, and they wanted to do more with it, but they ran out of time. It was their debut project. Okay. Like, this is the first game that Don't Nod Studios ever produced, and they haven't done anything since. What year was this, 2000? 2013, halfway oh. through the year. So they might release more in the upcoming years, and if they do, and if it's able to be properly managed, and if they have ideas as novel as this, or if they even run with this... Mm -hmm. Like, this fall of sense and technology has left things really messed up, but the sense and interface is still, like, up and running, and it still allows people to do, like, sense and combat and things like that. And now the real issue is going to be there is a force trying to manifest itself through the once scattered leaper hive, let's call it. Mm -hmm. And now you need to go through that. So yeah, um, as their first game, they're going to be thanking everyone, and I, I am really glad for Don't Nod that they managed to produce something that was pretty good. This game generally came out to pretty mixed reviews. Yeah, like, I can see that. It got, it got an average of like a C, I think. And and I mean, it is. It's passable, it's just not outstanding. Yeah, I'd say sense. one of the problems was uh, the kind of stale combat. Oh yeah. No, that was actually one of the main criticisms that people had, was the stale combat. Because once you get your four different types of presses... That's it. Right. The, you can combo them, but it doesn't change much of anything. So you're just there, eternally comboing. Exactly. And there were only five powers, and eventually they just started realizing that 
Some of these are a bit overpowered, we have to start inventing counters to them, or certain strategies, such as direct damage all the time, are incredibly overpowered. Mm -hmm. And they just kind of rolled with that. And I think that, I almost feel like the Heavy Enforcer was a terrible move, but it was a move that they needed to make to make gameplay even somewhat difficult near the end game once you yeah. had the power and chain presence that you needed. Yeah. I mean, to take an example from another thing that's completely awesome, Godhamb had, it had a customizable combo, a main combo, if you will. Mm -hmm. They'd also had like three different moves that you could set to certain key or set to certain button commands, like down and square or down and X or down and circle. And you would perform these single moves well, like when you needed to, and otherwise you would perform your main combo. And if you did something like that, it might be alright. Or if you designed a system where perhaps the more advanced the combo was, the more the person actually had to almost play a memory game with their combo sequence. Though I don't know how you would manage that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know either. It's it's really just like daunting prospect to try to be able to create combat like that, but the bottom line is that it just started to become combat to hallway to combat to hallway. And they had cool hallways. And they had cool hallways. And the com the combat was all right for when it worked. Mm -hmm. Like Rust in Pieces is still amazing. Right when you first get the abilities, it's fun to it's fun to mess around with them. But eventually, they start realizing that with all these abilities, they just have to toss more enemies at you mm -hmm. instead of causing you to go about combat in new and fun ways. Right. Yeah, I I would agree that that's probably one of my. But yeah, and more memory remixes and more varied memory remixes, but those are very difficult to do given the variability of the circumstances. Mm -hmm. um, the kind of modularized version of it, where they have lots of small things happening that can influence it on their own, um, like Trophy Falls, that changes nothing from the main cutscene in uh, the second one, the second remix, hmm. with the guy in his apartment. The Trophy Falling changed nothing in the main cutscene. The suitcase, the best glitch in the game, <laughs> technically changed nothing. It was just, it was there and it would act differently depend on, depending on what was happening. Mm -hmm. And there have been a lot of games that have tried to play with this, but they all start to fall into the same issue of you need to find just the correct combination of yeah. what you need to do. Yeah. And there are very few combinations because the more branches you have the greater the possibilities become, the more quickly the possibilities branch out. And either you end up with fake choices, like two branches that immediately dead end and one that continues you, or you end up having to create an incredible number of situations. Which, I mean, that would be the best implementation of it. But it would also take an incredible amount of work and time and funding that they don't necessarily have. Yeah. That yeah. almost no one necessarily has. I don't know, it's kind One, of a small minigame type thing. I it think is, they could expand it. Yeah, no, but I mean, those single sequences, the animating, the voice acting, the ability to rewind backwards and forwards and change the cutscene at will, that all was very well put together. Like, really well put together, seamlessly, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And it's just a matter of... It would be a lot to ask of any studio to be able to do that consistently. I mean, overall, Remember Me is still good. If it looked like something you're going to have fun with, I recommend that you, the viewer, go play it, because it, it's good. It's um, it's on Steam. I don't know if it's still at full price. It probably is. It was only released about a half year ago. Mm -hmm. So, not really much there. But, I mean, just overall, it's a good game. This was a 100% run, so you literally saw everything yeah, well, within I this mean... LP. If you go get the game, which, I guess, feel free to support the studio if you want. Exactly. If you want Don't Nod to make more stuff, obviously, give them your support. Um, but... You could also see the Nisist memories. Yeah, you, you can, can read through You can read through all the stuff. There are achievements to get. There's fun to be had. And for as much as I rip on some of the combat sequences, it does feel incredibly fluid at just about all times, save for the slightly wonky dodging. So... Overall, it's a good game, and I enjoyed it, and I think you'll probably enjoy it if it, you think it looks like something you'll enjoy, if that makes any sense. Like, if this, if you viewed this, and you said, that looks like fun, I recommend you pick it up, because it isn't bad, but it is definitely a game with a storyline that you play for the storyline, mm -hmm. which is almost why 
I don't know, some, some people make LPs for things like that, but there's still the possibility to play through it your own way. Like, I just ended up beating the crap out of people with power presence all the time, but maybe you actually like to use logic bombs, so go you. Yeah, oh, and make good use of those cooldown presses. Exactly. You could play the way you want to go, but overall I think that the dominant strategy is kind of also hurting this game a bit. But at Fair this enough. point, I think we've rambled on for like five minutes uh, yeah. after the actual video has ended. So, overall... Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you, Ty, for uh, co-commentating for the entire LP. Yeah. Um, obviously, your first time doing this sort of thing, so... Yeah, no, yeah. uh... Well, yeah. obvi no, it's not obviously well, no, we'll, your first time doing this sort of thing. Let's be like a talk show here. Thank yeah, you for okay. having me. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it was wonderful. Uh, yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it w this has been Tyler! No, um, in all seriousness, they um they can't interact. They're on the other end of a screen. I'm and sure there's... And this probably isn't going to be posted of, for like... Lots. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. I'm, I'm sure there's... um. That that there's one guy applauding right now. I'm sure of it. You, you're. I'm you looking applauding. at you. He, Thank he's, you. He's actually looking at the microphone. It's kind of um, unfortunate. Like you, Adrian. <laughs> that probably isn't your real name. Ah, <laughs> uh, day nine references. Wait, was that day nine reference? I was. A what was that? What was that reference Yahtzee. to? Yahtzee reference. Yep. Oh damn it! I got the wrong person. Okay, anyway, now we're just anyway. going entirely off topic. I know. So. Thanks for watching. This has been Remember Me. This has been PA and, and Tyler and or Systematic, depending on his preference. And we'll see you next time. Or at the very least, I'll see you next time. He'll, he'll see you some other time, maybe, possibly. I don't know. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye.